My name is Mike Martin and uh, I live in Turkey and uh, my ministry is church planting and leadership development and helping the kingdom of God grow in this part of the world. Originally I had gone to Bible college to be a minister and, and a youth pastor and just through my interactions with people in, in Bible college I just began to realize that God was calling me to a life of missions and then through that God opened the doors until um, 15 years ago the opportunity came that I was able to go and live in Kyrgyzstan first and then eventually move to Turkey where I am now. When I first moved to Turkey, um, to be honest with you, I was very hesitant, um, didn't know what to expect when I got there, to today where I feel like uh, this has become my home. I just knew that God was there, that God wanted me there. Turkey is 99.8% Muslim. There's only 8,000 Christians in the whole country, so there's 80 million people, only 8,000 Christians. That's a, probably an optimistic estimate, really. Turkish culture is really identified highly with Muslim culture and so to be Turkish is to be Muslim and to change a religion is almost to be a traitor to the country and and so while they're very accepting of us as Westerners as Christians and they want to be hospitable um, it can be very difficult for Turkish people who decide, decide to become Christian. I feel like the miracle that even one person would become a Christian in such a, an oppressive restrictive environment where they decide to change their religion from being Muslim and, and risk the persecution and alienation that that could result in from their families and friends. Uh, to me, that's a miracle. Last uh, year, we had an attempted coup. It was put down. And so the environment in Turkey right now is, is a little bit precarious because they're looking for people who are, are behind this coup. And we have to be somewhat careful and cautious about what we do and what we say and I, I feel like it's almost a, a matter of time until they start to look at the church and examine what the churches are doing. So we need prayer for that. We need prayer for just continued favor and just uh, prayer that we be, you know, have protection and, and not be afraid. And, and I always ask people to pray for the Turkish believers because they need to be bold. It's one thing for me to talk to a Turkish person about the gospel or share about Jesus, uh, but for a Turkish believer to share with another Turkish person, that, that's more impactful. And so we need Turkish believers not to recoil in fear or, or hide their faith, but to be even more bolder in this, in this time that we're in right now. Uh, we've had this uh, a church now we started eight years ago. Uh, it's called Oasis Church. And uh, we've been uh, renting another church's building in the evening. And uh, last year in October, we found a place and renovated it and we started uh, having our meetings there. We've moved to a Sunday morning service now. Uh, so we're just having this building has opened up a lot of opportunity for us to be more visible in the community. God gave me a, a real vision for churches throughout the whole region. My, my dream would be to see a church in every town and village. I drive through hundreds of towns in Turkey that don't have any church or any Christian witness that we know of. And it breaks my heart, and I know it breaks God's heart to know that there's nobody there to give a, a witness of his goodness and, and mercy. To be honest with you, Turkey is not an easy place to work, and, and there's a lot of discouragement, a lot of disappointments. We, we sometimes feel like we're taking two steps forward and three steps back. And, and just to have churches behind us uh, praying for us, um, you know, even coming and visiting once in a while to see what, what's going on. Um, that's incredibly supportive and all the stuff that we've been doing like having the church and we, we do refugee ministry as well as Syrian refugees in Turkey. All this wouldn't be possible without People's Church being behind us and helping us. 